Hello everyone, this is Emma from Heart Rights Consulting and Martin had a question about tagging. So let's just say we're doing a statement like this and as you can see I've got Martin, Jerry and Steve in here but what I want to do is tag them. So if I want to tag somebody then I might go at Martin and then at Jerry and then um, at Steve. I hope you guys don't mind me tagging you. Um, being fantastic regular members. Okay, so let's just say that's a normal post and you post that. Now let's just say someone says, oh, I don't want my name tagged. It's annoying. Actually, I'm going to edit this first and I'm going to put myself um, in here as well. Thanks for all your support me to Emma Sydney. Okay, so now I'm in there as well. So I've tagged myself and I've tagged a few people. Let's say you're in the post and someone says I don't want to be tagged. What you do is you edit the post by going in here and then you can take the name and you can just rewrite it and instead of tagging it, you don't tag it. See how I haven't morph down there and actually hit the return and then that's worked fine and then everybody else has lost their tags as well so let's say I do want to tag myself because I want to show you how to untag myself you can untag people quite easily alright so I've now untagged everybody else and then I've tagged myself let's say I want to untag myself if I click on here I can remove and report the tag myself from here so I can go into remove report tag and it'll click through, uh, choose a reason, it's annoying or not interesting, whatever, let's just say it's annoying or not interesting, continue and you can remove the tag. So you just click that to not tag it. There's another way you can do this, so I'm going to show you the other way now. So I've done that and this, I'm just going to refresh the button so you make sure that um, it's showing with me tagged. Now I'm going to go to my own page because on my page I have a, a provision for tags where I authorize them. I'm hoping it will come up quickly enough for me to show you how to do this pretty quickly. Mm, it's not showing me that quite as quickly as I would like. Activity log will probably show me. Let's go in here. Um, there you go. See how I'm tagged in here? So this is me tagging myself, so it allows me to um, post in my timeline, but there's a section over here in activity log, which is, as I said, up here. You go down here, activity log, and then you can go to tag review. So I can see if there's any tags that I am in, and I can set it so that I always review the tags. So that's how you actually prevent someone from tagging you without so that's in your settings but if you are trying to remove a tag you go to your activity log and you can edit this here and you can delete it if you like so it's not going to be on my timeline on in anymore so there you go it's gone however if I go back to the Facebook business marketplace it should still be ah, I've deleted it off that timeline as well that's interesting so if it's your own post, you delete it off the original timeline. But what would normally happen is if someone else deleted a tag um, from your post, they would delete themselves from the post, but the post would still exist. Anyway, that's all from me, Emma from HeartRights Consulting. Hope you have a good day. Bye.